All right, welcome back into Cleveland Browns Daily on a Friday edition of the program. Bo Bishop, Nathan Skur with you here on CBD on 850 ESPN Cleveland. Joined now on the hotline by our good buddy Sheldrick Redwine joining us. Sheldrick, how you doing, man? It's been a while since we've seen you. Been doing good. How you doing? We're hanging in there, pal. It's been uh, been a long time on this uh, this this isolation front. Uh, I know that you guys have been doing a lot of Zoom meetings and you've done a lot of virtual stuff. How has that been for you? Has it has it been effective? Do you, do you find that a lot has been accomplished and you've gotten accomplished what you've wanted to? Yeah, I've definitely been accomplished a lot. Uh, a lot. You know, it's different, but you know, we just got to adjust to it. You know, and just make the best out of the situation that we're in. Sheldrick, when you think about where you were. When you think about where you were a year ago as a rookie coming into the league and now having to deal with an offseason like this but doing it now in your second season, how different is it? How much are you happy that you have that year under your belt? Would this have been very hard to deal with as a rookie? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, coming in as a rookie with the circumstances changing like this, you know, it would have been tough. But, you know, I'm happy I got that year of experience under my belt, you know, just knowing how to, how to attack the game, you know, how to attack the mental aspect of it. Sheldrick, as you talk about attacking that, what's kind of the biggest thing that you think you learned in your rookie season, especially as you got to start, you know, those six games uh, to end the season and play a big role for this team? Uh, the biggest thing I learned, you know, is uh, you got to take care of your body. You know, uh, that was the biggest thing I learned. You know, you have to be available, you know, when it's time for you to play, you know. So I just took a new approach, you know, hanging around a lot of vets last year. You know, they, they showed me the approach to – how to invest into your body, you know, how to take care of your body every day, you know, even if it's the little things, you know, everything adds up and everything will help you eventually. Now, Sheldrick, just to qualify that, is that is that diet? Is it is it fitness? What is it when you say, what, what did you learn so much? Because you played a, university, a place like the University of Miami, I assume that they put you in a great position to succeed as well. So, so what did you learn in that first year? What specifically was it? You know, just, just how important your body is for you, you know, uh, you know, that's what they pay us to do. You know, you got to use the body. So eating, you know, eating right, I took on a whole different diet, you know. Uh, eating right, you know, stretching when it's necessary, you know. Also mental uh, and mental health, you know, I, I've been doing a lot of meditation, you know, a lot of reading and stuff, you know. So not just my physical body, you know, but also helping my mental as well. Is that something you've done before, meditation? And how, how did you get into it? And how effective does it is it for you? I've heard a lot of people say great things. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's been greatly effective for me. You know, I got into it probably probably around a month ago. You know, I had a friend who's a, uh, who's a hypnotherapist. You know, he told me how successful uh, a lot of people he heard have been doing meditation, you know, and how, how I can find, you can really find peace, you know. And even in a crazy environment like this, you know, you can find peace, you know, within yourself. So that's something I've been applying. And I feel like it's been helping me a lot. That's awesome, and I That's think you great, get, yeah. maybe get some good introspection in, in those periods. Uh, speaking of something that probably surprised you, Sheldrick, did you think that coming back into year number two, you would be the guy in the safety room that's played the most snaps for the Cleveland Browns? <laughs> Man, no, that's crazy. So just hearing that, you know, I, I didn't even, you know, I didn't really even pay attention to that until you just said that, you know. So I, I wasn't even paying attention to that, but that's crazy. It is, and how do you think this defense, obviously you see what Joe Woods, everywhere he's been, defensive backs have been very successful, corners, safeties, et cetera, and you guys have now a pretty talented safety room with yourself, Grant Delpit's coming in, uh, Carl Joseph coming in, Andrew Sandejo, et cetera. What's it been like for you in that safety room and kind of how you see yourself fitting into this defense? I mean, it's been great, you know, the, uh, going through the meetings, you know, meeting the new faces, you know, just talking to each other, you know, just building that camaraderie little by little. You know, so it's been great for us, you know, just adjusting to the new period, you know, and having Coach Woods, you know, having him have a successful background with DBs, you know, you could do nothing but get excited. You know, as long as I know as I just apply myself, all the DBs, you know, we just apply ourselves, come out to work every day, you know, it's going to be a, a nice secondary. Where have you been training? What have you been able to do? Because you mentioned at the beginning keeping your body right. Obviously, you're meditating to keep your mind right. What have you been able to do from a physical standpoint and to kind of get the work that you want to do? Because it's hard when you don't get to go against receivers and see schemes, et cetera. You know, you're probably working on just a lot of, you know, just fitness and then also technique work. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of that. You know, uh, I got a trainer down in Miami that I've been training with. You know, I've installed a home gym. You know, right before this call, I just recently got a sauna put into my garage, you know, so I've been taking every uh, initiative, you know, just to have those little extra things, you know, that could give me, you know, whatever possible for me to be successful. 
That's awesome to hear. And it's, it's amazing when you, you, you think, you know, I'm sure for our audience, they think, well, look, you know, a guy plays at a place like you did in one of the big, big time programs in the country. And there's still so much to learn. It's an evolution. And we talk to guys who are the true pros. That's, that's really the thing that jumps out is the, is that you never stop learning, never stop trying to be better. And when you hear that from a guy, you're 23 years old and you're, you're already have that mindset uh, that ought to give Browns fans a lot of comfort knowing, uh, knowing the, the seriousness in which you're taking your body and your performance. Oh, yeah, definitely, you know, and I appreciate that, you know. I'm a very appreciative person, you know, so when people see that, you know, how you appreciate what I'm doing, you know, I, I like to give love back, too. Yeah, man, that stuff stacks up on, yes. on top of it. And this is a this is a young defense, obviously. You're going into your second year. Nathan mentioned the relative lack of – not a lack of experience, but lack of – a bunch of new faces in the in that second yeah. door, area. And as, as you guys think about the way you're going to attack – uh, this season defensively. What have you learned in camp about, about Coach Wood's philosophy? Uh, how do you think that the roster fits with what he wants to do? I mean, I know he wants the ball. You know, as a defense, that's what you that's what you got to get. You know, you got to take the ball back and give it, to, um, give it back to your offense, you know. So I can see that, you know, aggressive type of uh, defense. And, you know, him bringing in Grant, you know, Jacob from uh, LSU, both of those guys, you know, Watching them play, you know, that's what they do. You know, grant a ball. I've seen them out there, you know, running to the ball, flying to the ball. So having somebody like that coming in, you know, with Coach uh, Woods' mentality of how we're going to play defense, you know, it's, there's going to be a lot of flying around. It is good. <laughs> that's what we want. <laughs> And I think one of the things we're looking forward to is seeing this defense go against this offense of the Browns, which has a lot of talent on that side of the ball as well. Uh, how eager are you to get back on a field and actually just play football, have an offense that you're going against, be working with 10 other guys on the defensive side of the ball? Man, I think about it every day. You know, it's, it's what we do. You know, that's what we wake up to do. So, you know, it's, it's been missing. That, that aspect of the game has been missing, you know, but – everybody's missing it so I'm eager to get back you know in the camp you know get back with my teammates you know just having the guys around the locker room you know all of that so you know it's a point that we're missing it but you know when we get back to it it's full speed you know Sheldrick what we've talked to a lot of the guys on the program here during this time of of, of relative isolation and uh, undoubtedly what what all of them come back to of what they miss their most is is seeing their teammates and the camaraderie yeah. there do you feel like uh, in, in these, have you, do you feel like you've done the best you can in these circumstances to build that sort of brotherhood that you try to build on a team? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, we, we try to build as much as we can now, you know, even though we can't see each other face to face, you know, but just, you know, just being in the meetings, you know, throwing out little jokes, you know, we laugh, you know, there's new coaches, new faces everywhere, you know, so it's just that little thing that we're building every day, you know, until we can finally, you know, do everything face to face in camp, you know, and that's when I feel like everything can grow together and we can really flourish. And that's what we all hope. We hope to see it flourish. By the way, you're down in Miami. We talked with the Chief who's down there. Have you got to see some of the guys that are also down there uh, with you? Uh, from the Browns? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Chad, Thomas, Joku, you know, we all went to uh, UL. You know, so right. you know, we've hung out a couple of times. You know, I've been with those guys. You know, I've been training with Joku. You know, Chad's been to where I've been training to. You know, so I, we ran into each other on a number of occasions. So those are my brothers you know, from college, so you know, in the football atmosphere. Yeah, we certainly can't wait to see that either. What have you been doing during this time other than being in your playbook, meditating, working on your body, putting all the work so this could be the best season possible for you, Sheldrick? What, do you, what have you been doing kind of during this period? Because it has been a wild time. Gotten any TV shows, you've been playing video games with some of the guys. What have you been doing kind of just for, for your fun? Oh, yeah, for my fun, you know, just playing uh, video games with some of my guys, you know. Uh, watching TV, you know, I catch up on all my shows, you know, but the work got to get done first, you know, but then when it's time to relax, you know, you got to put it aside, you know, and take time for yourself. All right, what's your favorite game that you're playing and what was your favorite show so far during this period? Madden. I play Madden all the time. You know, I feel like I'm unbeatable <laughs> in Madden. And, okay. Uh, okay, who's your squad? You said my squad in Madden? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like it with the Seattle. I like to use Seattle a lot. A lot night. of people like Seattle. Russ. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, my favorite show, I've been watching a number of shows, you know, a lot of TLC, you know, uh, what do you call it, like TLC series shows. I like 90 Day Fiance. You know, that's been something that's been real funny to me. I watch that, you know, <laughs> like every Tuesday, come on, you know, that, that's something that's been funny to me. It keeps me laughing every week, so I make sure I catch 90 Day Fiance. Sheldrick, I have no Love idea it. what 90 Day Fiance is. What, it, what is the premise here? What do they, What do they do? It's like people from America, they 
they they start dating from other countries, and they get like ninety days, like ninety days together to determine if they want to get married what? to each other or not. And they, or not. And they try to adjust to each other's culture and stuff, you know. So it's funny just seeing the cultures mix, <laughs> you know. And the, you know, you get you you see the real, you know, the, the nasty parts of the relationship, you know, them tough them tough patches in the relationship too. But you know, it keeps the view. You know, it's a it's a good TV show, so it's gonna keep you entertained. That is fantastic! Wow, I will I will have to check that out, uh, Sheldrick. As 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 we as we bring it back home, obviously last season uh, didn't go the way you, that 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 we all wanted. Uh, but one of the things that we've noticed this year is is uh, you guys as a group really uh, let's just get to the season. Like we're not gonna have a lot of talk in this off season. Has that been something yeah. that has been uh, that it's kind of a, a, a an approach that's been team wide endorsed? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, it's all about the work. You know, the work gonna speak for itself. You know, talking about going to do nothing for us, you know, as we've seen, you know. So it's just all about how we apply to our work, you know, how serious we take our work. And, you know, when it's time to step out on the field, we got to apply that to what we're doing. Seldrick, what's kind of been the tone or what's been your impression? You know, this will be your third head coach in as many years, right? What's been the impression Kevin Stefanski's made upon you? Uh, the great impression, you know, uh, seems like a great guy, you know, how he talks. He wants us to have fun, you know, within football. You know, that's something that I like. You know, we do challenges, you know, over the Zoom meetings and stuff, you know, to keep us, you know, keep the whole team engaged, even though we're all in different parts of, uh, of the country. You know, so bringing that fun aspect to it and then, you know, being so so precise with the details. You know, he wants us to know every detail about everything, you know. So he wants us to have a better uh, situational awareness when it comes to football, you know. So that's something I like, you know, hammering down the details, the little things that can give you an edge on the field points. Sheldrick, we can't wait to get you back up here, buddy. Thanks so much for giving us a little bit of your time on a Friday, my friend. No problem. Appreciate y'all. 